Hello everyone, I'm Mark Snodgrass, and today I want to talk to you about how to create uh, dashboards with uh, more tighter formatting control. Maybe you find yourself in a situation where you, know, you want something where similar to designing a, a Word document where you've got a mix of images and text and uh, graphs, and you have that tighter control that you can do in something like Word. Uh, but you can't do that really natively in the standard dashboards in Domo. So I wanted to show uh, how you might be able to achieve that uh, with using Domo bricks and a little HTML and, and CSS. So let's get started. So here you see a um, completed uh, dashboard. You see I've got um, more tighter control than you would find with the standard dashboards that I've got um, image here and some text over here. And this is actually changing if we change the filters on, on things. And I'm using a Domo brick to do that. And then you see this changes here. And we've got, this is another brick I've got, and again, doing things like uh, the horizontal line with some shadowing uh, using the CSS styling. I've got a font awesome icon embedded in here uh, with text wrapping around it. And then further down, I've got, you know, just a standard card uh, mixed in here. And then another couple bricks right here. And then again, more cards mixed in here. So showing how you can do uh, that layout, I'll show you. So if we just kind of open up the dashboard where you can see where things are broken up into those different contexts, you'd see the, the little gray line is that standard um, dashboard grid uh, divider showing you where cards are, or um, in this case, some bricks mixed in and divided. And if we open up one of these bricks, you'll see that there's really not a whole lot going on in here. Uh, it always jumps to the JavaScript uh, tab, which is um, always pre-filled. But then the HTML is this, and the CSS is blank in this case, and I'm just doing the HTML here. And how did I get there? Well, to start, we're using the uh, Domo blank brick, and you can get to that by going to the App Store and then just type in blank brick. And here it is here. And it's it's great for just kind of writing your own HTML and CSS because the HTML and CSS are blank in there. And it's just going to have that standard JavaScript, uh, which you don't even uh, need if you're just kind of doing some uh, images and styling that you can ignore that JavaScript tab. Uh, but in some cases, I'm, I'm using it slightly, but not a lot. I'm not a JavaScript expert by any means. So... I'm not using a huge um, chunk of it at all. If we look at this one, for example, we're using, um, I'm doing nothing here. This is again, uh, what Domo pre-fills the JavaScript to get, get you started with it looking at the example data set, but we're just gonna, we're not even using that and you don't have to do anything with it. But here I'm doing, you can see my coverage application and participation rather is surrounded by the standard strong elements to give that bold text. And you see I've um, got regular text that I'm writing here, so that text that I need uh, for this section. And I can do any styling that I want, just like you would in Word or on an HTML page. But um, And then you see just to add a little bit of flair to it, I'm adding um, some font awesome icons. And those are really easy to add. Domo lets you add in um, different content delivery uh, network uh, in things like Fun Awesome and Bootstrap are two of the more popular ones. And those are really easy to get. If you go to cdnjs.com, which you'll find Domo referencing this in some of the developer documentation or when you, if you've watched any Domo videos on Bricks, and you can just you know search for font awesome and it will give you the uh, things you need to 
paste that in to your brick and then you're off and run it and you can reference uh, whatever fun awesome icons you want which here's the fun awesome site and here's the city and you, when you click on that then it shows you hey here's the what you need to copy and paste into your html and so then that's what i did got that in there in this case the inbox the other graphic you see on my page the city so you can do that uh, just adds a little bit more that you uh, couldn't do otherwise with standard uh, domo dashboards and if we look at um, the, actually the horizontal rule here. So again, I'm not a HTML guru by any stretch, uh, but you look at this, you can do a CSS class for the horizontal rule. So then it's just easy to bring that in there with the styling. I just Googled uh, horizontal rule CSS drop shadow. Um, and then it took me to a site who had that already, I think it was CodePen, uh, already stylized out for me. So I just got to copy and paste that and then just make a small tweak to, to fit what I needed. But then once I've got those, like that um, reference to Fawn Awesome in place, then I'm just doing a save as and then making my next one and doing save as and making my next one. So I've got that consistent style and they're just changing text and the icon I want to use in here throughout this. Another thing uh, to point out are images. So Domo doesn't let you reference every uh, URL out, out there natively just for security about bricks, but um, you can uh, bring in an image really easily uh, if you've got one of your own. And a little hack I found to do that would be to Go edit your dashboard and then do a notebook card. See, I've already done it once down here. I'll do it again um, if we drag in text. So you've got your notebook card where you could do, you know, some general text and whatnot. We're going to say, hey, let's uh, upload an image and let's grab demo in here. And so we'll add that image in here. And that's not what we want permanently. We don't want a notebook card to use permanently, but we're just going to now right click and inspect and find out what what's the path of this thing so if we inspect and then take the element and then paste it into something like visual studio code you'll see the source url and that's what you want to grab and then put that in your domo brick so you'll see if we go up to this one where i had done taking an image you'll see my HTML and my path on this image here. And there's the same type of path, just a different number at the end here with that. And I'm doing a float left to force it to be the left. And then I'm doing a float right on this div to uh, have this stuff be over on the right side. And just small use of the JavaScript functionality to dynamically uh, change the name depending on which um, which state I'm looking at here in my sample data. So I can flip between states here and you see that change and this changes here, that's dynamic as well, but not using that extensively, um, but just a little bit, obviously, because uh, I just didn't want to be really heavy on the JavaScript for this, just for ease of maintenance for anyone else using this but using the visualizations in the, these all change in here, but in leveraging the um, real strong visualizations that Domo brings to the table here. So this uh, works out really nicely. And then you can export this out to PDF and have that uh, available for uh, whoever. So this um, becomes a nice feature rather than doing these manually in Word or something like that. Uh, you can then make use of page filters and have something like this uh, done really quickly for whoever might be able to uh, use this and whatever your purposes might might be. So hope you found this helpful. Again, as always, feel free to reach out if you've got any questions. Thanks a lot.